Hey y'all, Justin McKay Catfish. I'm getting out here on the Tennessee River this morning to do some more catfishing. Now we've got a few minutes here before sunrise and I'm getting set up, getting anchored down to try to take advantage of the morning bite. Where I'm fishing at today is I'm in a creek channel and I'm at the top of a drop. I'm anchored down and 27 feet of water and then the, the channel drops off down to 50 feet into the main channel. So I'm up here at the top, hopefully you're going to take advantage of some active fish that are moving up from the main channel into this creek here to feed. So uh, we'll see what we can do today. Now for bait, I have finally had a good day of fishing for bait. I went out yesterday, caught several skipjack and got them good size too. I uh, got several of them, that size right there and bigger. And I also had uh, one decent sized white bass too. So I'm going to start out the morning with a skipjack head a skipjack body section and then a white bass head on a three rod setup. I'll be suspend fishing today. I'll have my baits down directly under the kayak and just raised up two or three feet off the bottom there. So let me get these baits cut up. We'll get to fishing. All right, y'all, there's the first bait, that white bass head. I'll drop it down. Those bigger white bass have continued to elude me lately. I've been getting a lot of small white bass. You know, in that kind of, I don't know, six to eight inch range, just tiny things. But uh, bigger ones, I haven't been able, I probably haven't caught a, been on a good school of bigger white bass in a month. I just don't know where they've gone to. Um, but thankfully, like I said, yesterday I got on them skipjack and not only got enough for a couple days fishing, but also got a few to put back in the freezer. My freezer has been empty. It's just been a, one of those years. I just haven't been able to get on them. But thankfully, I was able to put a few back for a rainy day. There's that bait there. That's just a skipjack body section. I said it before. Previous videos, skipjack is far and away my favorite bait. I do better on skipjack than anything else. But... I'm also the type of person that will use what I can get. If I can spend 30 minutes catching white bass or shad versus spending a few hours to go out and try to get skipjack and maybe not get any, well, I'm going to take the sure thing that's going to get me on the water. But I got on these skipjack. I actually went out trying to film an ultralight video ultralight fishing video yesterday and just kind of stumbled into these things and I said well heck with the ultralight video we're going to take a bait while we can get it there's the skipjack head put it back here we hook into a whopper today I'm betting that rod right there is going to be the one that gets hit put that back there and now, guys, we're fishing. We'll sit here, wait on them, watch the sun come up. Hopefully, get on some fish today. Let's get to it. I think we'll have that camera going in time. He's pulling on it. <laughs> I moved this rod that was over here to this side so I could face it more forward. That over there, the way I got my graph mounted on this kayak, I can't angle it as far forward as what I would like kayaking I'm still kind of goodness he's gonna pull I'm still kind of getting used to it figuring out where I want to put things and all that so. takes several trips in a new kayak to kind of get it laid out where you want and we'll get there eventually let's see what ate that old skipjack body section I saw his tail I thought we was going to get a look at him with that camera. <laughs> he done took back off again. I think it's going to be an okay fish right here. There he is. <laughs> He's going to get me soaking wet. First thing. <laughs> oh, 
All right. There he is, man. Let's hold that up there, y'all. That's a good way to start out the morning. I've had bait soaking 15, 20 minutes. And that can come along and eat it. <laughs> good way to get the day going. I don't know if I got any of the this other camera here, the takedown action. I didn't have my camera turned on, so when I hit the button, it had to load up. But uh, that was a great takedown. All right, let me throw him here on the board. We'll get a quick length on him and let him go. All right, y'all, that fish right there is about 36 inches, looks like. Nice fish, good way to start today. All right, there he is, one last look, right at the 36 inch mark, so nice fish. Get on out of here, big ugly. There you go. All right, we'll reload that hook with another body section of skipjack since that's what the other one wanted. We'll see if we can find one same size or bigger that wants the same thing. Fish on right there. Fish on right there. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a break here in between fish. Had some, man, that one's gonna pull now. Had some dink taps. It's pulling some drag now. Feel him rolling down there though, that's a definitely a blue. A few minutes after eight right now. The sun's up, but it's not peaked up over that tree line yet. There's a tail. Yeah, that's another good fish right there, guys. All right. Well, there's us another and it's a pretty good fish. Y'all, there's just another one that's a you know fairly solid fish right there. <laughs> Let's throw him on the board right quick and just see how long he is. That may be a little bit longer than the other one. No, that one's actually slightly shorter than the other one. It's about 34 and three quarters, looks like. Nevertheless, so guys, I just say. Another fat, solid fish. All right, let's let him go. Get on out of here before you break my thumb. <laughs> there he goes. All right, well that's two now on the skipjack body section. So I'm gonna put another piece down there. I'm still gonna leave these head baits out though. Like I said in many other videos, that head piece, I don't care what type of bait I'm using, that head piece is that's a big fish bait, so the big Mr. Whiskers comes along, I want them head pieces down there for them. Another body section going down. That's what they want, I'll keep feeding it to them. I ain't gonna run out of bait today. Fish on, buddy, he's hammering it. He's a hammering it, and that's another one that's on that skipjack body section. Well, that's been what they want this morning. I am a catfish pleaser, so if they want the skipjack body section, that's what I'm going to keep giving them. Keep giving it to them because they don't want it no more. That's another one that's a solid fish right there, y'all. Look at that. He's about to take off here in a second. He's ain't fall to nothing. Well, y'all, there's just another one that's right there in that same size range as the other ones. I'd bet money this is somewhere between 34 and 36 inches. We'll find out here in a second. But that's another one, too, that ate that skipjack body section. That's just kind of what they seem to be keyed in on this morning. At least the, the fish I've caught, anyway. So let me throw him on the board here. We'll let's see what we got. All right, y'all, well, if you'd bet me money, I'd have lost, because he ain't between 34 and 36. He is actually a little over 37, about 37 and a half, looks like. Whoa, 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 buddy. All right, guys, there he is. One last look. Man, that is a ugly fish right there, but I'm thankful to get him. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's mad. That right there was... I just brought him in too soon. I know he didn't fight hard enough on the way in, and he's just in here 
acting that way. But I tell you what, I'm thankful to get him. That's a third one on the skipjack body session. So I'm going to drop another piece right back down there. All right, y'all, I've been on the water a little over four hours now and haven't had a bite in the last two hours. I'm talking no ding taps, no nothing. It's just kind of died off. It was one of these days, it's going to be quality over quantity. I mean, I only got three fish, but they were all 34 to 37 inches, which is, that's a good fish to me. I mean, I'll take fish like that anytime I can get them. But uh, the big change out here this morning, I don't know if it played a role in it or not, was the weather kind of changed. The wind shifted. When I first got out of here this morning, there was a light breeze blowing out of this creek. And now the wind has, really about two hours ago when the bite died, uh, the wind shifted and it started blowing a lot harder and it started hitting me from this direction. You can probably see I'm moving this way. I actually had to pull anchor and spin the kayak around to be able to talk to the camera without the wind blowing into the microphone. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that had any any effect on the fishing or not, but um, it just is what it is. I put my time in out here this morning, got a few fish to show for it, and overall had a good time. So limited action again in this video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.